Hey you guys, okay, so I'm back and today I'll be basically talking to you guys about my hair, my natural hair, my um, journey. I know a couple of weeks ago you seen my curly to straight routine, basically me washing my hair and basically taking you guys through the whole process of me going from curly to straight. So. Today, I want to basically just go in detail about my hair and what all I do with it since that's going to be a, a lot about my channel as well as about my hair growth and my hair journey that I'll be taking. So, basically, I am natural as you can see. I've been relaxed majority of my whole life. I... Stopped getting relaxers when I graduated high school in 2010 and I was transitioning for like a full year but I really didn't know how to take care of my hair so I was very confused on the process and exactly what to do to take care of your hair and how to get it in a good state because I used to always wear even now I wear you part wigs all the time or so in at that time and it was so hard for me to literally comb my hair like when I wash my hair it will be a tangled mess like my hair I was like literally I could not like I would just keep trying to comb my hair and it would not go like my hair was so tangled it was ridiculous I was like I can't do this if this is what natural is like then I I just can't be a part of it like this is this is not me so I went back relaxed I know don't shoot me back relax because I didn't know how to take care of my hair for me it was either go back relaxed or I'm gonna lose all the growth that I've had and I'm, my hair's gonna break out worse so I was just like I'm just not gonna think about it no more I'm just gonna go relax so when I went back relaxed I only got I didn't go back heavily relaxed I just got a perm every six months and I did that like two times I think because after that I just started watching YouTube even more because for me watching YouTube was the reason why I went um natural in the first place so once I went back perm I just like I don't want to do this like I don't want to go back perm I don't want a perm no more <laughs> so when I got a perm I was just like I just don't want it so I just did more research on relax not relax but I did more research on YouTube about natural hair I see natural hair gurus who basically show their process and what they do for their hair their treatments they step by step what kind of products they use how they do this how they do that and I just kept looking at the same um videos I just kept looking at the same videos over and over and over and over again because I wanted to go back transitioning but I knew I couldn't go back until I was fully educated on how to do it so I finally went back after seeing quite a bit of quite a few of videos on YouTube I was just like you know what I think I got it so I went back no questions asked. I just went back to being natural. So, when I started going back, when I see more natural hair coming out, I just, natural hair coming out, I was just like, okay, now it's a test. So, I tried and I did what they said and it worked. Like, I could comb through my hair like I couldn't do that before and I was just like what they say works so I was so excited because 
I was able to take care of my natural hair and let and literally be able to stay natural now and fully transition. So I did that. So I went back natural after that next year, that four year of being relaxed. I went back to being natural. So I went back natural and I've been natural ever since because I've known now how to take care of my hair. And a lot of the main things were is that I wasn't shampooing my hair right. I wasn't conditioning my hair right. I didn't deep condition my hair, which is a huge no-no when it comes to being natural. Every time you basically wash your hair, well, every time you wash your hair for real, if you add shampoo, you better have a deep conditioner following by it. And that's just how it is. If you're not going to want to deep condition it, do not add no shampoo. Co-wash it or something. Do not wash your hair. Shampoo your hair without adding a deep conditioner. And not only that, I didn't do, I didn't have leave-ins. I didn't do none of the right things, I, I think. I probably didn't. I'm, I'm pretty sure I couldn't have the, <laughs> the way my hair was. It was a mess. Like, my hairstylist, like, I used to have to go to her when my first year of being natural. I used to have to go to her, and she'd be like, well, oh, my God, I have to do your hair again today. Like, oh, my goodness. You already got too much hair, and now it's a mess. So... <laughs> She was happy when I told her I was getting that perm though. She was just like, oh, So, yeah, I went back natural and I was able to take care of my own hair. I was able to do it myself. Only thing that I'm doing right now, I'm learning now, is to how to properly trim my hair. I don't think I know how to do that properly yet. I've been trimming it. I'm like, I'm cutting it, so does that count? Even though I'm pretty sure it doesn't, but... I'm learning step by step, day by day, and I'm taking you guys with me. I'm only going to teach you guys the stuff that I know is correct. I'm not going to teach you anything that I do not know for certain myself. So, yeah, I want to take you guys on my journey. You see my hair growth so far. You see where it's at. My actual, like, hair goal for my natural hair is to literally probably be, like, where this hair is here. That's why I want to be at straight and curly, probably comfortably right here. <laughs> like all of it's like right here. So yeah, that's where I want to be at for my curly and straight goal. And I want to go there. I want to be there with you guys. Um, currently. I am taking like hair pills and stuff to help my hair grow. You know, as you all know, biotin is the way to go if you want to promote healthy hair growth and healthy hair. And like they say, biotin is not a magical pill where it's just going to make your hair grow. Because if you're treating your hair like crap and you're taking biotin, you're just basically wasting your money and your time because you're not going to see no growth like in order for biotin to work biotin is not a growth pill it gets your hair healthy so that it can grow so biotin works from the roots it stimulates your roots you know so the dead hair like at the bottom and stuff you have to take care of that because that's where your growth lacks this where your growth this part right here, that is where your growth is. So if you are treating this part of your hair, if you're treating this like crap, don't expect to have any growth. If you're looking at your hair right now and your hair is very thin, like at the bottom, don't expect no hair growth. If it looks strawy and it looks like, you know what I'm saying? Like it looks thick in some places and thin and something like it just looks fried and chop that off chop it off it's it's gone why are you holding on to it <laughs> and you're taking biotin you're not gonna see any hair growth you have to make sure that your ends are always protected make sure that you are 
taking care of your hair. That's the only way you're going to see growth. I don't care what kind of pills you're taking. Your dead hair contains your length. If you're not protecting that, then you're not going to see any. So, I want to take you guys with me. I want to take you guys with me on my journey with my hair and let you guys see everything that I do. And like I said, you already see my curl is straight. I'm not going to do a curly video probably until next year because I have yet to wear my curly hair. I kind of slick refuse with my color hair until I get to my goal length because I honestly, I'm probably not going to wear it. Now I think I may wear it next year and I'm just going to add some extensions in to get to the length I want just so I can start maintaining and learning how to style my natural hair because I do not know how to style it at all but I always like wear my hair straight and that's just the honest truth you know so I've been wanting to wear my hair curly in one of my videos I think it's a lip swatch with Mary Kay and Milani if you scroll down and look at that video I'm pretty sure I had curly hair then and that's about the only time I wore curly hair and that was not my real hair but that's about the only time that I've worn curly hair and it's like it's, that's that. So I want to really try to practice with my hair. So I'm going to do that. But yeah. I'm going to do more shows like this. And also show you guys exactly what I do for my hair. But you know. My battery about to die. And I'm rambling anyway. So I'm just going to stop this video right here. Again stay smart. Stay true. Stay fabulous. And I'll see you guys in my next video.